Hi, um, okay, sorry, that was super weird. Um, sorry the lighting is bananas. I think it's because it's nighttime and I just have like this fluorescent light bulb on. I feel like I look really grainy, but whatever. Um, so before I get started, really exciting, um, I did want to mention that I organized my bookshelves, kind of, not really. Um, I organized them by country, so um, these are all... The problem is I have so many more U.S. than I thought that I did. So all of these are U.S. This whole shelf is U.S. authors. And then over here, there's U.S. on this bottom shelf and a little bit here. And then, like, I have them kind of grouped in different countries. And then the U.K. is at the top. Um, so I definitely noticed a lack of authors that are not U.S. So I'm going to try to fix that next year. But anyways, so super, super exciting news. Serial is back! Um... If you did not know, I'm a huge, 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 huge podcast, like, crazy pants, basically. Um, I listen to podcasts, like, any waking possible moment that I can't be reading. So if I'm washing, cooking, um, you know, driving, doing any menial task, I wake up, I turn on my podcast, and then I'm basically listening to my podcast till I'm out the door. I used to listen to it while I showered also, but I can't in my new bathroom area. There's no place for me to like set the phone so that I can listen to it. I need to get like some kind of speaker system so that I can listen to it while I shower. So I feel like any moment where podcasts are not going into my ears is like a waste of a learning opportunity, which I know is completely insane. But so I wanted to do some podcast recommendations because um, Serial is back and I'm so, so excited. So um, just let's start with Serial. I did want to mention that um, I just saw um, Nicola, I think that's her name from Robotnik, posted a video. Um, I think she does like two, it was like two podcast recommendations where she goes into more. I'm just going to like kind of blurt a bunch at you and not go into as much nice depth as she did. Um, but yeah, so she posted that. So I'll link that below so that you can see her stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just like super excited. So if you did not listen to the first season of Serial, um, they focused on, oh my gosh, I don't even know what his name is at this point. Um, is this a joke? I'm like so obsessed. I'm listening to Undisclosed now, which is about it too. But basically, um, this girl named Taman Lee was murdered in I think like 1999 and her ex-boyfriend was accused of the murder. And then now the, the Serial podcast came out and like did this whole like narrative storytelling of um, like the things that happened because he, why can't I remember his name? I know Jay is like the guy who kind of turned him in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, so it was really, really good and it was so good that I want more information and I am listening to Undisclosed now. Undisclosed is like a much more in-depth podcast. Um, I think it's a little much. I don't really like listen to it very frequently, but I'm very interested in the case and they give you a lot more detail and information. And I'm going to go back when I'm, when Undisclosed is finished, I'm going to go back and re-listen to the serial, um, the first season, um, because I feel like I'm learning new things and I want to see how it ties back to the first serial season. Um, but anyways, this new serial season is about Bo Bergdahl, which was a U.S. soldier who was taken by the Taliban and he was held as a prisoner for five years. And so um, President Obama like uh, arra arranged like a switch so that like five Taliban members, I think, well, like, I don't know if they were actual Taliban members, but they were switched for Bo Bergdahl. And he came home and everyone was excited and he was back for basically like less than 24 hours and then everyone was like, oh, you're a deserter, you abandoned your post, like da 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 da. And so, um, yeah, I'm kind of interested. I'm not as interested in this storyline as I was in the first season, um, but it still is interesting. I just kind of feel like, I don't know, not does it matter, but like kind of, because he was held as a prisoner and now he's released, he was a US citizen, like I feel like we shouldn't be giving someone such a hard time for being held captive. But anyways, um, so I just wanted to tell you guys now a couple more, I'm sorry, this is so random, but a couple more podcast recommendations. Um, I recently just uh, caught up with all of Sawbones. Sawbones is this hilarious, hilarious podcast. Um, it's a husband and wife duo, and she is a doctor and he is a dunce. Um, if you look at the picture, it's like a, the two snakes kind of like the medical symbol and one of them has like a little uh like the hat that you have on when you graduate and the other one has a dunce cap on which is really cute so each week or every other week I can't remember 
basically pick some kind of topic and then talk about how we got it wrong in the past, basically. They do things like lobotomies. They do, um, they've done like vaccinations. Um, so, so many things. Typhoid Mary, like a bunch of stuff. And it's hilarious. They're so, they're so funny. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. And I finally just listened to all of them and caught up. Um, so that one's really good. I also recently just started listening to um, Baby Geniuses, which is also really fun. I, I guess I prefer like funny podcasts. I don't know. Funny podcasts are a good time. And um, this is hosted by two women whose names I are like leaving my brain right now. But one's a comic and one is a cartoonist and they're like really good friends. And so they have like different segments on their shows, but it's basically like a knowledge based episode. So they bring on a friend that's knowledgeable in like one area of something. Um, they're not real experts, but they just happen to have a lot of information about something. And then the next part of the show, they bring on an expert who is an expert in something, but I'm using air quotes because it's total BS and it's just like a person who talks, it's like a, a fake thing. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty funny though. I definitely prefer like the first bit where they have a friend that just happens to know a lot about something. So it's kind of turning into more of like an interviewee style. Um, I'm listening to it from the very beginning though and um, I am really really enjoying it. I for some reason have a hard time with podcasts that have two women and so I'm really excited that I'm enjoying this. I tried listening to Call Your Girlfriend but the girls kind of they, they weren't for me. I felt like they were too um, uh, not judgmental but like I felt like they were on like high horse kind of and like they were looking down on me as a listener so um, I didn't really enjoy that very much so I stopped listening to that. Um, but anyways, uh, I also listen to How Did This Get Made? I haven't been listening to it that frequently because I don't really watch the movies anymore. And so this one is basically, it's another comedy show where they take um, a really bad movie and then they basically tear it apart. It has um, some semi-famous people in it. Um, it has two guys from the show The League. Uh, Andre from The League, I think, and I don't know what the other guy's name is from The League, and June Diane Raphael, Raf Raphael, Raphael, who is in a bunch of, like, she usually has, like, really, sm like, like, side characters that are, like, super funny, um, so she's in it, too, and they always have a guest host on, and that one is also a riot, and then um, I am going to talk about just one more, the news that I listen to. I listen to Democracy Now! with Amy Goodman. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Pacifica radio station. It's basically, like, the only news that I listen to. Um, you can say that I'm biased. That's fine. I guess I am. Um, but she's, like, really, it's called Democracy Now!, and it's, like, really about, like, forward thinking and stuff and so if you're not a US based person it might not interest you as much but they do talk a lot about international news she tries to cover things that aren't covered in like traditional media <coughs> sorry excuse me um but like for example and this is more of a US based thing when the presidential elections were happening in 2012 i guess 2012 um they did not allow third party candidates to go to the um, the debates when once it was just like down to the Republican and Democrat, like once the primaries had finished. Um, the third party candidates were not allowed to speak at debates. So Amy Goodman brought on the third party candidates from like the Green Party, um, the Libertarian Party and like a bunch of different, I think like the Justice Party also. So she would run the clip and then after Obama and Romney answered, she would pause it and allow those candidates an opportunity to respond, which I thought was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I voted green in the last election, and this is not like to be a political propagandist video, sorry if it's coming across that way, but I think it's really important to get everyone's viewpoint, and I feel like our um, the U.S. media is very, like one-minded like they don't it's basically like the second that someone plays something everyone just repeats what the one says and so I really appreciate Amy Goodman because she does a really really good job of covering multiple um like just news that's happening across the like world that's really really important and she focuses a lot like she's been she's had ta Coats Coates on there and Naomi Watts I think no Naomi Watt Watts, I forget, uh, but she did the book, um, This Changes Everything, about, like, climate, and yeah, it's just basically amazing, and um, if you're interested in the news and you have time, it's, that one is, 
an hour every day, Monday through Friday, so it is kind of daunting. I've started listening to it one and a half times speed so that I could like catch up because I have a lot of podcasts that I listen to. Um, but yeah, anyways, so let me know what podcasts you listen to if you have any recommendations for me. I probably have it downloaded, just not listened to it yet. So if you want to encourage me to listen to podcasts that you really love um, sooner rather than later, I do kind of like pick one podcast and then start from the beginning and run through it. So I have like I'm super type A. I have like my podcast that I'm caught up with and then all the podcasts that I'm not caught up with. So then I like listen to those that I'm caught up with and then like pick one episode and kind of like run through all their episodes afterwards. If that makes any any sense to you. Um, so anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, I hope you're having a great evening. Oh, also my giveaway is open for three more days. So I'll link it below because... Free books, right? That's pretty cool. 